All right, so I don't remember where I left off on this BMW because it's been actually like probably two weeks since I've come back to look at it. So I don't remember where I left off on this video, but I do remember at the beginning of the of this uh, diagnostic, all I did was take and scan the vehicle, get codes, and get ready to do some diagnostics, but then something came up and I had to leave, and the client wasn't in a hurry. So we are starting this video from where I left off. Uh, the client said he wasn't in a hurry and I had other jobs to get done. So um, let's go and look at the wiring on this APP pedal and uh, we're gonna go from there all right from what I understand you guys can see that yeah so I got my wiring diagram out okay so these brown wires are going to be my uh, powers uh, my grounds these yellow wires are gonna be my powers and these white wires are gonna be my signals okay so I have a white yellow and then a white and we're gonna test those out right now to make sure that I got everything I need. So we got a yellow green for a power and a yellow for a uh, power also. Now the thing is is that uh, all data does not have a 323i in their system. So I took the 328i which is pretty much the exact same model from what I'm from what I gather and uh, we're going to see if we can't diagnose this car like that. Um, right now there was codes that were up for the APP sensor and also codes that were up for the um, Oh, there's a lot of glare. I didn't want any glare, but I'll be able to show you guys like that also. So where was I, what was I saying? Yes, the 323i is not available in all data for some reason. All right, uh, so what we're going to do is actually use the colors that they have on this little two-channel lab scope. Now, the reason I'm using this is because it's very, very quick to set up. Um, I don't need a laptop or anything. And it's only a little two-channel scope, so it's going to be perfect for what we need. If I need more, well, I can always grab my hotel, all right? Let's take this and start with this. So, channel two is going to be this blue, all right? I'm just using my normal leads, all right? And channel one is going to be the yellow. Now, why did I pick this guy up? Uh, number one. It's a scope and it was fairly inexpensive. It was only uh, $180 for a little two channel scope with a battery. Um, it's, how can I explain this one? Uh, take the uh, Hantec and put it into a small little two channel scope and that's basically what you have here. We're gonna look at for our two five volts going in and then we're gonna go from there, okay? Um, this one is gonna need a piercing probe because I cannot get into the sensor on this one. I really wish I didn't have to use the piercing probe on this, but sometimes you have no choice. Uh, yeah. We'll take the piercing probe. All right, so APP1. They don't even say APP1 or APP2 on here. That's the thing that I don't like. But anyway, we know that we are supposed to have a yellow and a yellow green. All right, so yellow and yellow green. So what I'm looking for on this is five volts. So yellow green should be a five volt. Let's hope it's a five volt. Let's get this in here. All right, let's put this one on yellow with yellow. How's that sound? And then we'll use the blue for the other one. So let's make sure that we actually have a five volt signal coming in. Do we have five volts? And that one, we have nothing. I'm gonna make sure that I'm connected in a minute. Oh, actually, I don't even have my ground hooked up, so it's for sure we're not gonna have anything. Okay. All right. This one will be blue. And we got a little something there. Not much, but we do have a little something. Uh, we need a ground, which the best spot to get a ground on here is your, your vehicle's battery, but that's not going to work for us today. Um, so the next best ground, get this in, let's try this, there we go. All right, so I got five volts per division. As you can see, one of them I'm at 2.5 volts and the other one I am at exactly five volts. So that 2.5 volts is not good, all right? This is not signal, this is supposed to be power. And I do have a little bit of actuation on that. I'll let you guys see that. You guys can't even see. So I only have 2.5 volts on one line, which is not good. Uh, 
um, that should be a pure 5 volts and that's on my yellow trace which is going to be my yellow wire all right uh, let's go check our signals out oh that was me kind of lost my ground there that's why it's always good to grab a ground at the battery uh, can I get a ground somewhere else yes I can here you go all right so let's check out our two signal wires from there okay so we're gonna go white yellow and this one okay and now we'll go white there we go all right so we have no signal on that white wire it's because I'm not touching it might be Oops. let's check the other one I might try to back probe this all right yeah so we can see we do have some with our channel 2 which is this uh, white yellow all right so white yellow is there so let's check this one so what I'm guessing is that this is going to be end up being our problem side oh, that looks better is it let's check this yeah there we go now we got yellow all right something actually came up but we have no actuation whatsoever on that all right so oh I'll give you guys a view of that all right so we have signal on one but not the other okay so that could be a pedal uh, issue but since we don't have a pure 5 volts coming in on that one I'm not gonna worry about that one too much uh, we're at 2.5 volts and 2.5 volts onto the signal onto the, the power so that's not good um, we should have a 5 volt 5 volt signal signal uh, let's check our grounds real quick make sure we don't have the loss in the ground but um, I highly doubt it So there's a lot of noise on that line. I don't know if you guys see it. All right, I'm not liking that too much, especially for a signal line. Uh, let's go check our ground and make sure that everything is good on there. So. Check this area. Yeah, okay, Danji. So I'm getting that same on the ground, okay? Okay. Yeah, I don't like that at all, okay? Why okay? I'll check the other one just to be safe, but there's a lot of noise on that. I'll give you guys a view of this after. Just trying to get some uh, preliminary data on this. We already know we don't have our five volts at one of the sensors, so I'm not worried too much, too worried about that. Or we have 2.5 volts when we should have five volts, I should say. All right, and there's a lot of noise on those grounds. So I'm gonna locate where those grounds are too. Um, the next thing we could do, I just want you guys to see that, that's, that's basically what the grounds look like. And I find that to be awfully high for the ground. There's a lot of noise on that. If you can tell right there, that's zero. So we have a fluctuating ground uh, ground voltage on there, which is not good. Um, but it's also going to be that five volt reference that is not there on. So we could have a short somewhere in the system, a shorting out to 2.5 volts, which is very very possible. Um, which one was it? That we are at. 2.5 volts on the yellow so it was that one so that means the yellow white sorry ah on that white one right there we're at 2.5 volts which is not moving and then this yellow one if I'm not mistaken was the other one which should be a 5 volt let's double check this I'm just connecting up my probes right now ah. oh, let's check this and make sure and what do we have uh, we have 
Oh, look at that. We have way more than, we have battery voltage on that one. What happened there? Now I feel like a real idiot. Uh, so what ended up happening is that I actually forgot to change my uh, voltage per division uh, onto my channel 2, so that's why that was happening. Um, so, my channel 2 is only at 2.5 volts, my channel 1 is at uh, 5 volts, which is what it's supposed to be. So, what could be the possible issue here? Uh, we're going to test up at the PCM, and we're going to see if we have that issue um, with that 5 volts. We're going to see and make sure that that 5 volts isn't shared uh, along any other modules. Because there might be a module that might be pulling it down. But you never know, right? Okay. And uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. So uh, I'm going to relook at the wiring diagram and I'll bring everybody back. But as right now, you can see I'm at 5 volts on one and I am at 2.5 volts on the other one. All right. So I am armed with a wiring diagram. We're going to head out to the ECM now. We're going to make sure that that 2.5 volts is actually at the ECM also. Uh, then from there, we might be dealing with something that is interfering with the 5 volt regulator on that circuit, which is very possible. Um, I'm going to do a system scan right now of the vehicle. And uh, we're going to bring all this out to the front of the vehicle also, and hopefully we'll be able to start diagnosing this. So I'm going to set us up in the front and I'll bring everybody back. All right, so the codes that we do have are for the throttle valve potentiometer one, throttle valve potentiometer two, uh, voltage, travel sensor one voltage supply, travel sensor two voltage supply, which is history. Uh, voltage one is current, so we got to keep that in mind. Uh, external pedal uh, travel sensor potentiometer signal history, uh, throttle valve, and monitoring engine torque limiting. So the ones that we're going to be dealing with, obviously, is going to be the voltage leading to the travel sensor one voltage supply which we seen was at 2.5 volts which is not good um, the potentiometer for the throttle valve so let's uh, get up at the PCM and see what we can find all right and see if my signals are actually reaching up to the PCM also what we're gonna do is take and try verify these, this wiring and see what is going on so from what I can tell we have our accelerator pedal signal, which is going to be a white one, which is on pin 20. Uh, accelerator pedal ground and accelerator pedal positive, which is all going to be onto one sensor. And then we have another one that's going to be up here, which is going to be another one. Now, the one that I believe we are having an issue with, I could be wrong about that, but I believe is our uh, APP signal. Uh, let me get back up here, sorry about that. The yellow green, I'm gonna have to go verify that to make sure. Uh, the yellow green or the, uh, the other one was the yellow. So we have a yellow or a yellow green that's down here. All right, so I'm gonna go All right, so what we're gonna do right now is locate our X6001, which I already have the car vehicle turned off. I haven't undone anything yet. Okay, so this is gonna house some of the connectors. It's a very odd the way that the BMW did this, but um, basically each portion can come out separately, which is odd, but not like too weird. It's the first time I see one laid out like that. Um, so what we're gonna do is come in here. We gotta find our pin 11. So pin 11, which is going to be over here, I believe. It's supposed to be our yellow wire. Okay, I would like to take this cap off though, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Well, maybe I can. Let's see. Because if I can pull out this connector, which is just this one, I believe I can. Um, somehow. Oh. Nope. Alright. I don't know if it's just a cover or not, but... So from what I can tell, this one right here, let's go back, that's pin 13, no, see that's not it whatsoever, or is it on this one? Give me a second, I might be on the wrong side. Cool. 
All right, so I do have it right here. I just want to make sure. Okay, the arrow's like this, so that's good. So they're going from the top onto this. You guys can't really see that, but they're going from the top view. All right, and they're saying that it is the one that's up here. So when we turn it around, it's gonna be on this side. So 13 is there, and if we go in three, we should have a yellow. But this is not really a yellow, but it's supposed to be this one right here. All right, so that's the one that we are gonna see or check, because this guy looks like it's full of oil all over the place. Uh, let's plug in the connector again, and we'll take and measure our voltage on this one. Okay. I'll go turn the car on. Um, so let's take and hook up this wire. This is supposed to be it right here. It is a yellow, so let's see why that would be wrong. Let's go turn on the ignition. I don't know if you guys could see all that. You guys should be able to. Hope so. Okay. Turn the ignition on and see what we see. All right, just turn the ignition on. And what do we have? We have nothing. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Why do we have nothing? Oh, it's because I'm not hooked up to ground. That's why. Let's get this on here. Boop. Here we go. So we see that, uh, that 2.5 volts. So we are at 2.5 volts on this. Now we are also having codes for our throttle body. I'm not going to condemn anything right now. Uh, I have to get to that throttle body and I actually have to unhook it. Um, let's see where, what pin is my, did I just hit yes? Yes, I did. Sorry about that. Um, we need also our green. I want to check my green. Where are you? Signal. Uh, accelerator pedal. Positive yellow green, which is supposed to be pin 24 from, uh, from what I see. And pin 24 is on that same connector which is gonna be this one, looks like, yeah, looks like this one right here. Should be right above it. 11, yeah, it is. So we're gonna take and we're gonna hook that one up and we're gonna get our, make sure we have our five volts on that one, okay? But we're also gonna check, and we have our five volts on that one. Um, signal wire is let's just make sure uh well actually what we can do real quick after i do the signal wire check is we can unplug the app sensor and see if we get our five volts back if we do i'm not gonna uh, the app sensor is at fault on this one um it could be shorting out internally for all we know so we're gonna take and Hopefully you guys can still see. Uh, find our signals. Make sure that we have our signals. Or actually, you wanna know what? Let's take and unplug the APP sensor first. I'll go do that real quick. Very easy to do. All right, APP sensor is now unplugged. I don't know if anything changed. And it did not. All right, so, give you guys a view of that. We're still at our 2.5 volts, and we're still at our five volts. What does that mean? Uh, the APP, uh, is not the issue on this one so let's go ahead get to the uh, the throttle body and uh, see if maybe there's an issue with the throttle body maybe some of the wires melted I don't know let's go check So what we're worried about right now is possibly something on the 5 volt circuit shorting out that one uh, area now is it possible it is um, like I said, I'm not too familiar with how BMWs operate, but everything seems to be on separate circuits, but I'm not going to take anything for granted and say that everything is on a separate circuit at this point. So we're going to take and we're going to check this and go from there. And it can get in here if I had a longer screwdriver, because everything else... And this was off also when I got here. I don't know where that goes. this big air box out of the way now give us some more room keep this right here for a second just want to make sure I'm not forgetting any 
Okay, so this guy seems to be clipped right here also. No. So we'll take this off. I already undid this one. But it doesn't want to come off. Let's see if I can yank it out a little bit. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So, with that out, got a little bit more leeway. Um, I gotta get this out also. Don't wanna break the map sensor. It's not always fun in games doing mobile work, but you know what? Alright, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so I have all my wires here. They don't look like if they got damaged, but I can't say for 100% at 100% right now. Um, so let's see if I can't unclip the air side now. Got a lot more room to work with, that's for sure. All right. Well, what happened to our voltage? Let's go check. Oh, we are at five volts, guys. All right. So, all I did was unplug the throttle body. So let's take and hook back up the pedal and uh, go from there. So what I did right now was that I just started the uh, the engine. I wanted to make sure that the five volts still stayed there, and it does. So now what we're going to do is take and measure our signals on this connector also, which was a white and yellow, which is probably this one, and this white. And they look pink, but anyway. Actually, you know what? We'll go down to the to the APP and we'll do this. Okay, make it a little bit easier car is not going to run properly right now but at the same time that's okay it's not surging like it was either that's good because um, there was also a surging issue and I'm happy I got to show you guys what this uh, F near C whatever you want to call it little oscilloscope can do um, it's good so far so let's go inside and uh, go see what we can find all right so we have a white and a white yellow that's going to be our signal let's just make sure that that's okay I'm hoping white and white yellow so we're just gonna be in a limp mode right now anyway which is normal uh, let's see what we have shall we we got nothing on that one and a little bit on that one let's so I still have nothing coming out but that might be because I'm not actually on. Uh, let's undo our yellow one, make sure. Yeah. So our yellow trace is probably just not touching. I'm guessing on that. Let's try this again. Nope, nothing there. But we did get our 5 volts back, which is a good sign. Okay. Um... Check and make sure we got our five volts down at the sensor at the signal. The blue one is working. The yellow one is not for some reason. Because I'm not on, I don't think so. Let's just change it over. Let's just check and make sure maybe my probe is no good. It's very possible. Nope, it's not the probe issue. Okay, so there's no signal coming out. Let's just check our voltage coming in now. on this yellow wire, which was our problem wire. And we got our five volts. So, uh, I don't like the fact that we do not have a signal coming out on one of these wires, which we should. So let's go up and check the wires at the throttle body real quick and then we'll move on from there. On my 5 volt circuits and they're okay. 
Uh, we're gonna stop that there. And actually, you wanna know what? Before we do that, let's erase the codes. Turn the car off, erase the codes, and we'll check our voltages again because maybe it will not give that signal wire back unless the codes are erased, which I've seen before, but you wanna know what? Let's just do our due diligence. Let's go clear all trouble codes. Let's read. So, uh, nope, see we still have a signal one. So, we have zero volts on that one. So I'm gonna check up at the PCM and make sure we don't have an open in the wire. Pedal travel sensor signal one, or it might even be a bad pedal at that point. All right, it has to have a bias voltage. It has to. The bias voltage is probably zero, and then when it reads X amount of voltage, then it says, okay, I'm good. Um, but I don't know if it's supposed to be opposite of what pedal signal one is supposed to be. Because the way that these work is that you'll have one that might be at 1.3 volts and one at 0.6 and then they'll climb gradually together. Or you're going to have ones that are going to be extremely at the opposite ends. Which is going to be uh, like 0.5 volts and then the other one's going to be 4.9 volts. And one's going to go downwards and the other one's going to go upwards. So when you're pressing on the pedal. And I don't know how these systems work because they don't give any information. Um... But it's good to see that we only have that one code, that all the other codes for the pedal are going to accept that one. So it's very possible that we do have a pedal issue on top of having a uh, signal issue. But let's go up to the PCM. Let's check out the PCM voltage first before we get, jump to, to conclusions. And uh, we'll go from there. I think that would be the best bet. Okay, so let's bring our little oscilloscope up to the front. Hope you guys see now why I, I like oscilloscopes. You can't do this with a voltmeter. It's not gonna give you the same uh, answers, that's for sure. Oh, what's this? I got a screw. Give me a minute. So my theory was good. My hypothesis was good, I mean. Uh, the theory on what I was thinking was okay. There was maybe a short in one of the five volt references and it might be shared internally inside the PCM. Um, we're still gonna check our five volts and everything at the uh, throttle body just to make sure that that is okay. But for right now, we gotta get in here and we have to check our signals, which is uh, gonna be on this connector again, probably these ones. All right, so I'm looking at the white yellow uh, ground signal, white yellow, which is on pin seven on that connector. And pin seven, oh, not this one, it's on my phone, sorry. Oh, my phone might turn off. Uh, pin seven, all right. It's gonna be the top connector, of course. So we'll just flip this guy around, how's that sound? And get this top connector and pin seven is going to be up here. Which is this going to be? Yeah, it's going to be these ones right here. All right, so we got that one. Right now I'm at a five volt division, and for some reason, this wire is not. Maybe that is a pink yellow. I'm not seeing another white, so. That battery died, sorry about that guys. Um, right now, on this wire, the yellow one, the blue one is still reading zero. Well, not zero, but it's reading something at least. Um, this one right here is not reading anything. Which, well not reading anything, it's actually reading, uh, what, battery voltage? Yeah, this one's reading battery voltage, so I don't think that that's right. Let's go to this one. This one looks a little bit more probable. It's supposed to be a signal, so I'll just go turn on the key. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Um, let me go 
I'm on a two second division anyway. I'm gonna go uh, hit the throttle uh, plate real quick. I wanna see if the if it moves. Uh, hopefully, we can see that. Hopefully something moved. So the, my blue one is good, all right. Uh, yellow one is still not moving. So, what does that tell us? If I don't have a signal coming up, that is not good. Um, I'm gonna have to really verify pin seven. So, so the blue one is good. I do have a signal on blue. Um, let's just change this over to the other one. Now that I got everything hooked up, let's just make sure that this is the actual pin if you want. Because there's only two of them here, so. All right, let's see. So, as you can tell, nothing happened there. So this is not that, that is for sure. All right, so I'm not gonna worry too much about this one. So the only other one is this one right here, which I'm positive that this is my proper wire. But since I have no signal coming out, even though I have my five volts and my ground, I would th think that I have a bad sensor at that point. That's the only thing I could see. Because if it's not a bad sensor, then it's a bad um, PCM that's not sending out a bias voltage onto that line. I just think that it says that there's a voltage issue when there's a signal issue. Because I got my 5 volts, I got my ground, so is there a way for me to trick the system is what I'm trying to see. Anyway, let's check this out first. I want to make sure I'm on the proper pin and then we'll go from there, okay? Because the last thing I want is to be on the bad pin and, you know, it not work, so. So it's that top one. Give me a second, guys. I gotta locate my pick. Maybe I can get in here and pop this guy out real quick just so I can get the proper pin. That would be amazing. Okay. Not that one, that's for sure. Only well, looks like it. Oh, there is one. Okay, so there is two. So we have this one here. Okay. And this one up here. Which. Okay, so this one's holding it right here. I see that. And then this one's holding it up here. Alright, so if I do this ever so slightly, just like so. There we go. Alright, so let's make sure. Um, do I have the right one? Give me a second. Yes, I do. Okay. So, uh, 13. And. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So this is 7, okay, and the other one is white. Let's just make sure I get this right. Uh, white is pin 20. So 13, so this is 26. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, and 20. Yeah, so it is these two right here, which is what I thought. So I'm on the right wires, and there is no signal reaching up to the APP. So the, I am on the right wires at least. Um, so what I can do at this point right now is get a jumper, uh, measure resistance real quick, and make sure that there's not a break in the wire, but I'm positive that there's no break, and that there is just an issue with the um, with, the, with the APP sensor on top of having an issue with the uh, throttle body. So let's take and uh, check that out first. And you know what? Before we do that, let's go check our uh, all of our wiring down at the TPS sensor. If they even give us what it is, we'll see. All right, I'll get you guys in here. wiring here okay so we have our wiring I'm guessing we're gonna have pretty much the same thing going on uh, we're gonna have a ground 
two five volts and two signals. That's what I'm guessing, but there's six wires on this, so maybe two grounds, two five volts. All right, let's see which ones are which, and we'll go from there. All right, so what we're going to do, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at this on to all data real quick. Hopefully I can find it. Uh, powertrain control, engine controls, and I want my throttle body now, which I believe the throttle body has seen a while ago for four. I think my eyesight is getting worse in my old age. Um, so throttle body, let's see what we have. Here we go. All right. Oh, that's nice. They actually give us uh, quite a few things. So the ground is going to be uh, our purple black. So we can check out our ground real quick. That comes from the DME though. And that is on connector 6005. So that's a completely different connector. Uh, we have throttle signal and throttle signal is going to be yellow and yellow blue yellow and yellow blue all right so that means blue is going to be my throttle positive i also need my five volts which is going to be no that is going to be my five volt in is my throttle all right so that's going to be pretty easy then there's only one so a throttle negative is white yellow But they have it as a throttle signal, which is not right. That should be positive, negative, and then we have two potentiometers. Signal, signal, and a negative for the for the throttle is right there. Uh, so what I'm seeing is literally one five volt coming in. One five volt and one ground. That's it. Yeah. I got one five volt and one ground. Um, two signal wires coming out because the signal, the power and ground are shared inside. All right. So, so uh, having a portable scope that is very easily accessible speeds up your diagnostic process. That's for sure. Um, the Make Sig is one that I would really want to try out. Um, well, let's try this out. This blue wire is supposed to be my five volt in. We will check this. We're also going to check that ground from the DME, that's for sure. Um, motor power, motor negative is going to be something completely different. So let's just take this. We'll hook this up onto here. I'll give you guys a view of this. So this is 5 volts, or it should be 5 volts. And I have nothing on there. That's not good. Uh, key on. That's going to be a good uh, starter. Yeah. So, either we have no 5 volts, or we have a bad computer at this point, because this is not working. So, unless it's stopping the 5 volts because it cannot see the throttle. Let's plug the throttle back in, but I know that that's going to mess everything else up, from what I can tell. And we have 2.5 volts when we are plugged in. We go up to 5 volts. Oh, wait, I got my 5 volts. Never mind. All right, so my 5 volts is there. It must have just not been connected properly, that's all. Um, or there's a break in the wiring over here. Let's see. No. No, no, we're good. Yeah, it's my connection. Okay. Yeah, it's just my connection. All right, so we'll leave that like that. We have our 5 volts. Um, next is going to be our ground, which is purple, which I'll use this with a test light in order to test that because the ground comes from the DME and we want to make sure that the ground is good. If the ground is not good, then we're having an issue on the ground, okay? Okay, so, got my bulb. We're gonna go over to a positive source, which would be the battery over here. It's the closest thing I see, all right? Make sure that that's connected. No, oh, not connected. We're not grounded. Oh, there it is, okay. Alright, so let's check. 
and we have a good ground. All right, so we have five volts, we have ground. Um, I'll give you guys a view of that because you guys probably didn't see it. Okay, here we go. So we have five volts, five ground. And look what happens when I plug in my my connector. Just give me a second. Let me undo this one so I can get it back in there. And 2.5 volts. All right. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but each division on here is uh, is a uh, five volts. So I'm only at 2.5 volts. As soon as I unplug it. Boom, I get my five volts back. All right, and that is on my feed to the throttle body. All right, that is not a signal wire. That is the power feed for my sensors. So what does that tell me? That my throttle body is defective. On top of the throttle body being defective, we also have a defective uh, th uh, pedal position sensor because we have our, f have our five volts, we have our ground, but we have no signal coming out. So we need two items on this vehicle. Um, could you imagine if I would have just unplugged that and said, okay, let's just change the throttle? Uh, would have been a bad call on my part. So, uh, throttle body, APP sensor, and we'll go from there. All right. Uh, I will bring you guys back once I get the parts in because I'm probably going to finish up this job. And um, yeah, we'll continue this diagnostic after that. But at least I got you guys back. You guys got to see my little new little tool. Um, honestly, great to have. Powers up and powers down super quick. I'll just push the power button for everybody. Okay. It's off. Now I'll push it one more time, and it's on, okay? So, about a 10 second boot, not even, okay? Uh, very, very quick. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video, and as always, I will see you guys next time.